So today I want to talk about the Feutech AK4500 um, gimbal. Uh, so I used to have a gimbal before, which was the um, Cyan Crane, um, but I was using the 200D on that, and I just felt that the uh, gimbal couldn't really support it very well. It, it felt like it was straining the motors, so uh, I eventually sold it. But Feiyotech approached me and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing this, uh, which will support uh, my DSLR, plus it'll support the uh, bigger DSLRs. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing um, of this gimbal. Um, comes in this case, uh, pretty much like the Phantom 4 sort of case, which is handy. And inside, uh, you've got the battery charger. I think in here, you've got some cables, uh, some charging cables here, other cables, uh, the four batteries for the gimbal. Also, you've got this base plate. So what's handy with this base plate is uh, this one stays on the gimbal. You can take your camera off the gimbal, which is useful. So when you put it back on the gimbal, you don't have to uh, do all the adjustment, adjustments again. So that's a pretty uh, useful thing. Um, this is the gimbal itself. Uh, feels solid, to be honest. Feels really solid and nice. Um, <clears throat> I'm not too sure what that is at the moment, but um, these are your sort of legs they're very solid they feel very solid yeah they're quite good and uh, <clears throat> this is also the um, a support arm but also you can um, put it on here and uh, have a sort of uh, a longer length on there so yeah in hand at the moment it feels a very solid piece of gear now there's another box that comes with this um, and it's an accessories kit so what you get in the um, accessory kit is another sort of an extra one of these so you can really control the uh, camera away from a camera with this little gadget here but what I also really like about this gimbal, um, you can have the uh, focus ring puller on here and uh, you can uh, focus pull with this, which is brilliant if you're filmmaking and all that. So yeah, um, there's also a bracket that goes, this bracket also goes onto here and then you have a kind of a support arm so it helps um, with filming. So that's basically what you get in box. So we're uh, gonna put it all together, have a look at it, and then uh, we'll take it out in the field. So now I've got it nice and balanced. Um, so right here is uh, the touch screen where all your functions are. I'll probably talk about that later. But I think the best thing to do is uh, take the gimbal out and uh, see what it performs like outside.
So the expectations of a gimbal like this in 2019 is that it's able to stabilize, has a lockable axis, it can be taken apart for easy storage, you can manually adjust the camera angle, that is easy access to all the modes and that you can customize its sensitivity. The first mode is the lock mode, where all axes are locked. You can use the joystick to tilt and pan. Panning mode, where pan and roll axes are locked. Left and right pan follows your move. Third mode, the follow mode, where it follows your tilt and pan and the roll is locked. The fourth mode is the follow mode where the camera follows the pan, tilt and roll. This can also do a 360 degree rotation mode, which is known as the inception mode. There is also a selfie mode. You uh, click the button twice to return to the forward position. You will also find the portrait mode, and that allows you to shoot video vertical. Focusing at the bottom is available if you have the follow focus attached. These are the payload settings at the bottom where you can customize your motor settings. Wheel settings where you can adjust the sensibility of the gimbal. And in the settings menu you can perform your calibration with the camera. Within the premium box you also get the accessories kit. Within the accessories kit you get the hyperlink remote controller. You also get a fixed bracket. This bracket attaches to the gimbal to give you extra support with an extra bar. There's also a follow focus which attaches to the lens. Within the box you also get a smartphone holder, USB cables and an aluminium rod for the follow focus. So, uh, <coughs> so what are my final thoughts on this uh, gimbal? Well, I've had it now for about two weeks. Um, I've sort of gone out and tested it out. I'm pretty impressed with the, the gimbal itself. It's uh, very, very solid. Uh, like I said, I've had gimbals in the past, um, but this is a beast. I mean, what this can do is unbelievable. I mean, it's got so many settings on it. Um, and I think the specs on this gimbal outdoes any gimbal out there today, including the DJI Ronin. Um, the spec list on this is very, very good. Um, it really feels solid in your hand. Uh, doesn't feel cheap in any way. Uh, very well built. Uh, so yeah, I'm very impressed with it. But what I think is more impressive uh, with this gimbal is that you get this hyperlink remote control so what this allows you to do is just the same as this but you've got the freedom of uh, controlling it in your hand and um, another thing which I think is great is that it has a follow focus uh, wheel and um, if you're filmmaking and you have the follow focus ring on you can uh, pull focus with this you know you can attach the monitor and pull focus so that is pretty amazing to have that within this kit i mean if you were to buy this separate on top of this i mean you'd be talking about 150 200 pounds on top so uh yeah really really good idea uh very good idea so yeah that's the hyperlink remote control uh which uh allows you to have uh full control over the camera remotely so yeah 
um, as a vlogger. I don't think I'll be using that in any way. But as a filmmaking tool, this is perfect. Um, it's an absolute beast. I like it. It holds some heavy DSLR on it. Uh, and it holds it well. No problems whatsoever. So, yeah. For a filmmaking tool, for making films, documentaries, I highly recommend this um, gimbal. It's really, really great. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I've only been using it for two weeks. Uh, completely impressed with it. I uh, just feel there's so much more to learn uh, within the gimbal. I mean, it's capable of all sorts of stuff uh, when you go into the settings. So my last word on this gimbal, uh, I definitely recommend it. It's a really solid, nice piece of kit um, for any filmmaker. Uh, yeah, and the spec list on this is much better than any gimbal out there in 2019 so yeah i highly recommend this gimbal